Welcome to our channel. Today, you're gonna watch the second chapter of Roger and the Necromantic Abode. I hope you like the video. Chapter 2 After two months in the heart of the bustling college campus, there lived a dog like no other, Roger, with his long brown and bushy tail swaying behind him and his left ear proudly displaying the mark of mystical powers. Roger was a sight to behold. As he strolled through the campus, he relied on his charm to procure delicious meals from the cafeteria and the generous students. Ah, another delightful day for Roger. He barked with glee as he wagged his magnificent tail. But one fateful day, Roger encountered a deaf man who worked at the campus. The man, touched by Roger's presence, began sharing his lunch with the mystical dog. Here you go, the man signed with a warm smile. Roger cocked his head in confusion. Why is this kind soul giving me his food? He pondered. His curiosity peaked. That night, as Roger drifted into slumber, he was visited by a dream, a vision of his parents' enduring love story and their tragic demise. Upon awakening, Roger's heart swelled with newfound understanding. My parents never abandoned me. They were taken from me, he whispered solemnly. I shall honor their memory and pray for them always. Roger was moved by the deaf man's kindness towards him. And soon, the man began bringing an extra tiffin box of food exclusively for Roger, spreading the word of the dog among the deaf community. As Roger's fame grew, so did his admirers. Students hailed him as the security guard of the college, marveling at his unique appearance and gentle demeanor. But as Roger celebrated his second birthday on February 18th, a new challenge loomed on the horizon, the dreaded coronavirus pandemic. With the country plunged into lockdown, Roger found himself hungry and desolate for a month, his loyal supporters unable to provide for him in the face of adversity. Yet through it all, Roger remained resolute, his spirit unbroken, for he was not just a dog. He was a symbol of hope, love, and resilience in the face of hardship, a true legend of the college campus. In the quaint home of Alex, a deaf man, nestled within the embrace of a bustling city, resides a family bound by love, yet marked by the complexities of human relationships. Alex is a resilient and compassionate man whose world revolves around his cherished daughters and granddaughters. Despite his deafness, Alex emanates a quiet strength and unwavering devotion to his family. His hands speak in volumes where words cannot reach. Beside him stands Annie, his wife. Though the bond between them has grown strained over the years, Annie, with her stoic demeanor and distant gaze, struggles to connect with her husband and their daughter. Her support is fleeting, her presence often overshadowed by a veil of indifference that casts a shadow over their home. Delilah, the eldest daughter, shares a complex relationship with her mother. Despite Annie's lack of understanding and support, Delilah finds solace and guidance in her father's unwavering love. A free spirit with a fierce intellect, Delilah navigates the tumultuous waters of adulthood with strength and resilience. Astra, the college-going granddaughter, embodies the hopes and dreams of her grandparents. Her laughter, a melody that fills their home with joy. With a heart as bright as the sun, Astra brings a sense of purpose and vitality to their family. Her youthful exuberance, a reminder of the endless possibilities that lie ahead. And then there's Abby, the youngest granddaughter, whose innocence and wonder light up the darkest corners of their home. With her infectious laughter and boundless curiosity, Abby brings a sense of joy and wonder to their lives. Her presence, a constant source of delight for her grandparents. She possesses an ethereal beauty that captivates all who behold her. With cascading waves of chestnut hair that shimmer in the sunlight, her laughter rings like the tinkling of wind chimes on a gentle breeze. Her eyes, the color of the clearest amber, sparkle with curiosity and kindness, reflecting the innocence of youth and the wisdom beyond her years. Her smile, radiant and infectious, lights up the room like a beacon of joy, warming the hearts of all fortunate enough to bask in its glow. But beyond her outward beauty lies a spirit as pure as the morning dew, 
compassionate and empathetic, she possesses a boundless capacity for love and understanding. Her heart as vast as the ocean and as gentle as a summer breeze. With a tender touch and a voice as soft as a whisper, she brings comfort and solace to those in need. Her presence a soothing balm to weary souls. Her laughter, like the melody of a songbird, fills the air with happiness and light, reminding them all of the simple joys that make life worth living. In A.B., the deaf man finds not only a granddaughter, but a precious gift, a beacon of hope and a symbol of love that illuminates his world with radiant warmth and boundless joy. Together, they navigate the highs and lows of family life, each member bringing their own unique strengths and vulnerabilities to the table. Despite the challenges they face, their bond remains unbreakable, forged by love, understanding and the shared experiences that define them as a family. As the morning sun painted the sky with hues of orange and pink, Roger, the mystical log, made his way to the home of Alex, his heart brimming with anticipation. Alex had been feeding him food for a few days. He found Alex seated on a weathered rocking chair, his eyes lighting up at the sight of his furry friend. Bounding towards the door, Alex disappeared momentarily, only to return with his daughter and granddaughters staring behind him, Delilah, Astra and Amy. Amy's eyes sparkled with excitement as she rushed to greet Roger, her voice filled with genuine concern. Where were you yesterday? We missed you. She exclaimed, her words echoing with sincerity. Roger shrugged off the question with a casual reply, masking his true whereabouts with a simple explanation. Little did A.B. know, Roger had embarked on a nocturnal adventure, exploring the quiet streets under the cover of darkness. As Alex lovingly prepared a plate of food for Roger, A.B. eagerly took charge, following her grandfather's instructions to the letter. Roger noticed the subtle change in the food, a sign that it was prepared by someone other than Aunt Delilah. Yet, he savored every bite, grateful for the gesture of kindness. After their meal, A.V. seized the opportunity to show Roger around the exterior of the house, her voice bubbling with excitement as she pointed out various landmarks. Together, they explored every nook and cranny, their bond deepening with each passing moment. As night fell, Avi playfully locked the gates, testing Roger's resolve. But to her surprise, Roger showed no signs of leaving, his determination evident in his unwavering gaze. The next morning, Avi reluctantly opened the gates, only to find Roger still by her side, his loyalty unwavering. Realizing his desire to stay, Avi made a silent vow to ensure Roger's happiness and well-being. True to her word, Avi returned later that day, armed with a ball and a playful grin. As they played fetch, an old lady emerged from the house, her words dripping with disdain at Roger's presence. Undeterred, Avi defended Roger's honor with unwavering conviction, her quick wit and sharp tongue leaving the old lady speechless. With a triumphant smile, Avi resumed playing with Roger, her heart swelling with pride at the bond they shared. As the day drew to a close, Avi turned to Roger with a promise in her eyes. I'll come back tomorrow, she declared, her voice filled with warmth and affection. Climbing the stairs, Avi shared her thoughts with Alex, her words a whispered promise of love and acceptance. We can adopt him, she said softly, her heart overflowing with compassion for her newfound friend. What will happen next? Will this family abandon Roger like Zephora's owners due to Annie's dislike towards him? What kind of adventures will he get to experience? Keep watching our videos to know more. See you after one week with the next chapter. Bye!